I just found all this in one hole, and it, that big thing, that big round piece has got a star on the front of it. I'll take a better picture of it when I get it home. But them little round things, are, they kind of look like buttons, but they're silver on the outside, and silver looking on the inside, but I don't think they're silver. And then I found that belt buckle in the hole with them. So it might have been part of a belt at one time. Get back with you, I'll find something else. You guys, I just made a, a, a weird, I mean, a, a amazing find. It, it ain't no silver coin, it ain't no coin, but it's one of these plates that you, uh, has got backward lettering on it. And there's a picture on the front of this thing, right beside the lettering. It says, have you, have us, have us, R-E-R-A-I-R, -R, them, and then a them at the back, at the bottom. I don't know what that R-E-R-A-I-R -E -R -R is. I need to turn it around and read it the other way. But uh, that's a neat find right there. Cool. And there was a piece of wood stuck to the back of it. Whenever I pulled it out of the hole, the wood broke off of it. And there's a little thing on the back where that wood was, I guess was, you know, uh, might have been you know, put on there. I don't know if there was any other places for the wood to be, but there's a hole right here in the top of where the wood was supposed to be. Uh, get back with y'all later. Okay, on the front of this thing it says, have us repair them. Okay, and I don't know if they're talking about shoes or tires. They got a picture out beside them words, and I can't make out what it is. It's either a tire or I don't know. You know, I found that watch fob. It had something to do with a uh, uh, shoe, uh, Star brand uh, shoes. You know, so uh, shoes are better Star brand. You know, and watch fob. You know, and so they, whoever uh, had that, they must have been in the shoes. I figure that's what this is. It's one of these things where you, you know, you, uh, you know, the letters are backwards. You have to, you know, when you print it. You know, that's a neat find right there. That's some history right there for you. And I tell you what, this little old square plate right here, this thing is heavy now. That, it's, well, there's the back of it, but there was a piece of wood on the back of it, and there's a little bitty, there's a little thing right here where that wood fit onto that piece, but it didn't, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I went over the whole good and I didn't get any more pieces or no more metal or anything out of there, you know. So, uh, looked like there might have been a, a tit or something right there, you know, or uh, maybe one right there. You know, there's one there and one there, you know, and they, I guess they've been broke off. There might have been one down here that helped, helped some wood on but that, that joker right there is intact. It's sticking out pretty good. But, golly, guys, that's a that's a cool find right there. You don't find stuff like that every day. And we'll do some more cleaning on it when we get home and take a better look at it with a magnifying glass so we can make out what that picture is, you know. But that is so cool. But I figured they're talking about shoes because when you say have us repair them, they're talking about plural. They're talking about more than one. So, I, well, you know, uh, usually when they're, you know, of course, you know, I don't know. I mean, uh, usually when you have a flat or something or a, or, or a slow leaking tire, it's only one. I mean, it's very unusual to have two, you know, but... So I figured they're probably talking about shoes since I found that watch, Bob. But I found this plate way up here on uh, I'm a long way from where I found that watch, Bob. But anyway, I'll get back with you later on it.
Well, there, uh, there's another one. I just found another one. This one's different. And uh, it's gonna look like it got a, two gentlemen standing beside a tire. So we know what repair them means on that other one. And uh, you know, it's kind of sentimental in a way because my granddaddy, he used to own a gulf station in Delight, Arkansas. It's supposed to be the home of Glenn Campbell. And, uh, but my granddaddy, you know, he passed away in 92, 1992. And uh, I loved him so dearly, but that room, just brings back memories of these old uh, stamps here, you know, the whatever these are. But these are, are nice relics. That's awesome, man. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. I just found this here, and it looks like a spoon bowl. But... <laughs> That thing is heavy like lead or like pewter. Man, I don't know what that is. Get back with y'all later. I'm gonna wash that up when I get it home. Well, I just found another one of those uh, uh, stamps or whatever you call them, them little square uh, things that had the letters uh, on the letter, words backwards on uh, This one here looks like it got somebody's name on it, but it's backwards So I had to clean it up. I can't tell what it said, but I'll clean it up when we get back to the house And, and we'll uh, talk about it then. Get back with you. I'll find something else This here ta uh, stamp here is not like the other two. It's, it's smaller and uh, but it don't have, it don't say anything about tires. It says something about a battery on it, and uh, some I don't know uh, completely what it says. I'm gonna uh, I look at it a little bit better. Maybe I can figure out what it says later. Get back with you later. I found these two tags this afternoon. And the top one, it's been cut off. It ain't whole because uh, I can see the Willard name on the bottom of that little tag. But at the top, there's some numbers right on where it's been. Looked like it's been cut in two. At the top, there's some numbers. A letter, uh, so I don't know what kind of tag that was. Probably for some kind of a battery product or something. And uh, then I've got a... A tag down here has got numbers on it, and it's got a little, it's got some decorations at the bottom of it, and uh, I, I don't know uh, what they're to, but they are lead, okay, and they're old, so I'm going to keep them, so I'll get back with y'all later. Hi everyone, today we're at Old Washington Shore State Park and I'm inside the print shop. And this young lady, she runs the print shop and she's going to tell us a little bit about them little stamps that I found. Well, my name is April, and just like, like he said, I'm with Historic Washington State Park. But what we have here are ding bats and wing dings. And these were originally hand carved out and they were wooden through and through. And these probably start, it stopped in production probably about 1950s. And of course, there were some a little um, older than that. But uh, the ones that we have here are um, cut out and so forth. And this is what you would actually do your advertisements in your newspapers or maybe want to put a, a picture in your book. This is how you would have done it. So. Where are uh, where's them wing dings and, and uh, ding back? Where did they originate from? Well, it originated, it was actually a print printer's term, and um, that's where it reads pictures. Now, I understand that it's used in kind of a foul word today to call somebody a dingbat, but the only thing I can yeah, think of... Yeah, kind of derogatory, right? Yes, sir, it is. Uh -huh. But the only thing I think of is that maybe somebody hurt themselves in the printing shop and they got called a dingbat, and it kind of stuck ever since then, so... <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I got... 
the letters are backwards on them. And, and you know, and they even got pictures on them. Mine's got some pictures on them. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're going to be in reverse because you got to set your words or even your pictures in reverse. And when you flip that paper over after printing, it's going to read correctly from left to right for you. So that's the reason why it's in reverse. Right. This is interesting to me. I'm sure it will be to my viewers too. Oh, um, yes, yes, because there's all sorts of types and links out there. Can you show us a few types? Uh, letters and so yeah, forth? Yeah, letters. Like some that's got some uh, pictures on them. Yeah, some like you did yesterday. Yep, here. Let's see, we've got four. Let's see, we have, where's my reading bear? Yeah. Here we are. Line up with Bear to read. And actually, this was an encouraging little folks to start reading. And let's see, we and have... And these are actually for advertisements, right? Yes. In newspapers, right? Yes, yes. And that's, this is actually a very old Ford logo. And um, and so they, they would have used these for, for their advertising their cars and so forth to sell. And let me see, where's my favorite? Ah, right here. This is when Stretch fabric came out for the first time, that you're able to stretch your fabric, and so it was definitely a big deal. <laughs> That's great. That's just great. And man, they have a lot of presses in here, and I don't know if y'all, if we wanted to do a 360 with the camera or not, if y'all could actually see yes. all these presses in here or not, but uh, there's just, you know, there's so it's many of them. Job you know? presses? an 1880 hand press. We even have a Babcock press, that big old guy way over there. We can give you a thousand copies. And we also have some linotype machines which are making our sentences into bars. And we also have a Klugs, a pooch press, and also we have several old typewriters for you to come and see and learn the history of them. Oh. Do uh, all these press, uh, all these presses use dingbats and? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we uh, we surely like to thank y'all, you for uh, helping me with this a little clip, you know, today and all that. I guess we'll let this be the end of it. Y'all come enjoy uh, historic Washington when you can. And uh, y'all do have a, a website, right? On yes, sir. Www. ArkansasStateParks.com Okay. Bye. Well, I just found me another little medicine bottle. I guess that's what they are. And anyway, uh, I was digging the signal, and I seen the top like that pull up. And I said, this may be a hole. Be careful. And I went to pull on it and come out a hole. I, I don't believe it. But anyway, get back with you if I find anything else. You guys, I just found this, uh, this thing here is insulator, uh, this old insulator, and, uh, man, that thing's gonna clean up nice. It's got a patent date of May, I think it said, let me see, well, look like it said May the 2nd, 1893. Get back with you after I get it cleaned up. I'll take a better picture of it. I just found this button right here, and there's something on the front of it, some kind of decorations on the front of it, but I can't make out what it is. And there's a shank on the back, but it's bent over. So I'll get back with you to find something else. Well, the other day I was over here at the bottle depository, but I was a little further up, uh, up there, and, and uh, I found some some old stamps, you know, the metal deals that have words backwards on them, like advertisements that you put in newspapers, you know, on, on, on presses. And uh, 
just a little while ago I dug this signal and I dug a piece of, uh, well, uh, I dug something else up that was, I think a piece of iron or something. And then I, I uh, went back over a hole and got another signal, you know, another overload I'm talking about. And uh, I got to looking and I could feel something. I pulled it up and it looked, it felt like lead. And that, this is lead right here, but it's got Willard on it. And I, one of them stamps that I found the other day has got Willard on it. It's got the name Willard on it. And there's a bunch of lettering on this thing. And when we get it home, we'll clean it up and we'll look at it better. I can't got nothing to clean it up with. I, I might get back to the truck here in a little bit and clean it up up there. But uh, that's, a, that's a neat find right there. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. Well, guys, I think I just hit silver over here at the park again. That's a, uh, it's the bottle depository. This time, I think it's a barber dime. It looks silver to me. I believe that's the, it said one dime on it on the back, on the reef. Yeah, there's a barber. Uh, B1800, by God. <laughs> you know, what's the, I think the third barber dime that I found over here. Chris, you ought to be over here hunting with me. Well, guys, what does it say? Can you see it? Can't tell. Let me look a minute. It's about dark. It's about to get dark on me. Well, I had it, I had it, uh, wasn't looking at it the right way. I keep dropping it. Didn't mean to rub on it, but. Well, I can't tell. Look like 1800, it might be 1901. Look maybe 1901. I'll, I'll get back with you and find something else. Got silver over here at the park. Chris is gonna be, Chris is gonna be a boy, I'm telling you, he's gonna be, he's been just aching to get out and hunt, but he's been having so much business, having to do his business and, and everything else, he can't get away. Get back with y'all if I find something else. All right, guys. Here's the barber dime all cleaned up. It's in 1901. Beautiful coin. One dime. And here's the V nickel, and it was a V nickel, and it's probably one of the best V nickels I've ever found. It's uh, the date on it, let me get it right here, get the bust right for you. I can see it. Well. You're probably not going to be able to see the date, but that's the bust on the front of it. You might can see the date now. It's a 1909. Beautiful V nickel. I'd let you see that 1909 on there. But anyway, there they are, all cleaned up.
Well, there was a coin spill in with that uh, barber dime, and I believe it's a B nickel, but uh, I ain't made it out real good yet. I'll get back with you when I know for sure and give you a date on the video. See you later. Bye. Well, I went back and took another look at that B nickel. It's a 1907, not a 1909, a 1907. You can probably see it there now. Get back with you later. Guys, I just found my barber quarter. Yeah, it wasn't registering quarter though. It must have been some iron or something in with it. It was throwing a, a funny signal, jumping all over the place. And uh, I kept digging it up, popped that quarter. But it's a barber quarter. It's in 1909. I looked at it this time. And uh, it's real bad worn though. But it's a barber quarter and I'll take it. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. All right, guys, there she is, all cleaned up. And it is a 1909 barber quarter. Just found the part to an old wind-up clock. And the winder is still on there. Ain't that something? I ain't never seen the winder still on the back of one of them things before. I've dug some of them up, but never with the winder on the back of it. Yeah, get back where you find something else.